show you outside the Julian's Gallery and here on the wall of this building is a giant picture of the iconic Bad Tour jacket worn by Michael. And all the pretty gardens along the front and the lovely red ribbon sculpture that um, everybody can see as a landmark for Julian's. Over here on the clothing racks we have a variety of Jackson 5 costumes. One of these was Michael's. It has his name inside. And this one here definitely Michael's. Uh, the and these red oh, no, sorry. That's what I was asking Jackson 5 outfits. Beautiful, intricate work on these old Jackson 5 costumes, jewels, and in the belt. More Jackson 5 costumes. Showing you some of the things inside the cabinet here. This is a rather gorgeous, a custom made MJ knitted sweater. And actual drawings by Michael Bush and Dennis Tompkins of costumes or autographs. This fabulous creation was worn by Michael when he was with Nelson Mandela on one occasion where he was presented um, a lifetime achievement award. It's made of black silk crepe. And here he is wearing that jacket when he's with his friend Nelson Mandela. This awesome black paint leather jacket was seen being worn by Michael at a couple of events in the 90s. I'd love to know how they got this amazing dragon emblem actually into the leather. It's stunning. Here is the side, the sleeve. I'm sure everybody has seen this silver spandex and black strapped leather trimmed outfit from the Bad Tour wonderful shoulder straps and again well we have to have a badge for Michael on the side of the sleeve. This jacket was designed by uh, if I can get the name right Theory Muggler and I hope I'm not being offensive if I pronounce it wrong but this is a leather jacket in a variety of colors with red white silver um, spikes coming out of it and here we have on the right side of the chest a giant silver M and on the left side of the chest the J. 
and around the back of the jacket we have the MJ and these large silver objects protruding out of the back of the jacket. That would have been hard to lean up against a chair in that, Michael. This is a thriller style jacket from um, the collection of another Michael Jackson uh, fan. It doesn't, it doesn't say whether Michael actually wore this one, but it's a beautiful uh, copy of an original thriller jacket. No, I fit all the jackets in. Out of all these iconic costumes, I think the one that we remember the most um, is the promotional video for Michael with this history tour suit here. And he just looks stunning marching through Paris with all the soldiers wearing this outfit here. This one is another beautiful classic that we saw pictures of Michael in. And as I said earlier, I think once he wore that when he was with Nelson Mandela, I could be wrong, but that's where I think I saw him wearing that. And last year I was photographed as one of the screen shirts. This is the whole outfit from Scream, because you must remember that Every costume that was made, they made at least two in case one got stolen uh, or dirty, you know, they, they needed to get it dry cleaned or whatever. So he had more than one of these particular costumes. And my favorite still is this. Yeah, I, w I would sell my dog <laughs> to get this absolutely amazing creation. If I could take it home with me, I'd be the happiest Michael Jackson fan in the world. That's all I can say about that. And, you know, I'm just totally blessed and just so fortunate to be able to actually be here to see this. So, hope you're enjoying the video so far with everything I'm showing you of Michael's. And as I say, they haven't got everything in the auction out on display. The whole presentation has to wait because of the special party tonight. Okay? Like an Portrait jacket. This is all folded up in this beautiful history box um, set which I have autographed by Michael and to Michael Bush and these prototype pants here buckled pants leather straps like a very heavy cord and these very well worn leather loafers which are signed on the back by Michael more autographs to Michael Bush. What other lots do I like? This absolutely amazing dangerous tour belt which is autographed on the inside and you can see on here the little chair of angels on the front. Well next to it is a, a copy because most things made for Michael were done um, twice or sometimes three times in case anything happened to them and this one here has the cherubs missing and that's because the cherubs were taken off and put on Michael's clothing when Michael Bush buried him so the cherubs are missing on that one because they are with Michael and this bad era belt just amazing history tour signed helmet <laughs> this here is um, in progress crystal gloves on a sheet ready to be cut out again signed 
to Bush by Michael and here is a finished crystal glove. Look at the sparkles on that. We all recognize this picture. Well here is the actual pants. This lovely autograph photo. When Michael did What More Can I Give recording. This gold heavily beaded belt. the actual history tour glove. Michael appears in this glove at the opening of the history tour when he comes out of his rocket. And Michael's 30th anniversary concert helmet. The pair of shoes that Michael wore in the Scream video. A sweater signed by Michael. And this amazing pair of boots. More costumes. An awesome magazine. I haven't seen this one before. Signed by Michael. Picture of Michael Bush and Dennis Tompkins together and Michael has signed it to them. Michael's dangerous sun glasses. A screen shirt from the video. Dangerous to a belt. Complete with the bullets in it. The actual original sketch of the jacket that I showed you earlier in the video. More sketches. The prototype drawing pin together of what the finished belt would actually this guy like. here was actually made by Bill Whitton in the early 80s. Michael's Popcorn Award in 1996 NCTE shirt. Other drawings. And this beautiful piece is the legging, here he is wearing it, in the actual bad to a le beautiful leather legging straps. And pair of shredded jeans with jewels alongside. Another bad to a jumpsuit. Not everything is on display at the moment because the room is required for the party tonight so um, there is nothing displayed in the presentation down the middle of the room. Michael Jackson cardigan with beautiful jewel embellished badges on it clasps on the pockets 
and his Varsity jacket. As you see him wearing it down here. CTE shirt. And a lot of us remember this. This is a beautiful jacket, stock, filthy tabloid press. If you remember the picture of Michael wearing this lead jacket and it's autographed on the back. I am so fortunate to be here this week, to be spending time with all these amazing costumes of Michael's. I love this one that he wore, George Bush. I wish I could have been on his date when he was wearing this absolutely amazing jacket. Um, I thought Michael looked particularly beautiful in the photos of this jacket too. And this awesome beat it jacket. The yellow thriller jacket is a particularly unique one because most of them as you know come in red and black and uh, black and white. And I love the beautiful beaded workmanship on this jacket here. And I just showed you a little bit earlier Michael Bush's and Dennis Tompkins' sketch for that jacket, which Michael signed. So, um, yes. And this beautiful one here. Hello, Mark, baby, waving at me from the other side of the room. <laughs> For those of you that don't recognize them, these leg bands were worn um, when he was with Lisa Marie Presley and did the famous kiss on stage. More fabulous sketches from Michael Bush and Dennis Tompkins. variety of Michael fedoras worn at different events or signed at different more Michael fedoras. This time I'm showing you around the back of this jam jacket that I love so much. And a close up of the sides and back of the bed to a jacket. Unfortunately, the lights are all shining into this on the back side. That leather strapping. This shirt I showed you before is actually from the LA Gear campaign. For those of you that don't have this already, this is Michael Bush's book dedicated to Michael Jackson, the King of Style, and I believe that you can get it on Amazon and possibly other places as well and this book is definitely worth getting.